Welcome to my productive day vlog. I am holding a piece of banana bread because that is my breakfast. I don't always eat breakfast, but if I want to have a productive day, I definitely do. Particularly if I want to get productive before lunchtime because you just need something to fuel your brain. This is a chocolate chip banana bread I made a couple days ago. I mean, in my banana bread era again, it is so good. Anyway, welcome to my productive day vlog. So this is going to be part of my dream life series and this is episode three. In episode one, we did a bunch of journaling and figuring some stuff out about like what I want my dream life to look like. In episode two, we worked on my sleep routine. So you definitely don't have to watch those other videos. This is just sort of a vlog within that series. It's just going to be a day in the life, a kind of productive day in the life. And I've been really liking that lately. Like tomorrow, I've sort of set the theme for the day as a cleaning day. Today, I've set the day as like a productive day. And I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So obviously, I'm just in the middle of making a cup of tea. I'm making an Earl Grey. So I'm just letting that steep. And I've also filled up my water bottle. And I'm going to take a big sip of water. And I am going to go upstairs and plan out my day after I've had a little chat with you guys. Some things I know are on the agenda for today. I want to do my emails. I want to respond to YouTube comments. I want to set up for March when I'm filming this. It is a couple days to the end of February. Obviously, you guys will be seeing this in the beginning of March. But I'm going to do my goals for March. I've started my March bullet journal setup and I love it. And I've also loved being really prepared for the beginning of the next month. I haven't done that in so many months, which is why we're doing this getting my life back on track kind of series. I'm also going to be filming some TikToks because I have something it's exciting I'm like launching today I don't know if it's a launch but it's like if you're local to Ottawa I'm making like a girls group chat on the app Geneva which is like a really community based app so I'm launching that today which I've been working on for the past little bit I also wanted to talk about one thing I've been incorporating into my morning routine and that is my magic mind productivity shots I've been using these for a couple of weeks now because I really wanted to try them out before I told you guys about them so I'm gonna go grab my shot from the fridge So thank you so much for Magic Mind for collaborating with me on this portion of the video. They really help promote productivity, they reduce stress, also help me focus more throughout the day when I take them. And that is because they're made of some really great ingredients and they have nootropics inside. So let me tell you about some of the ingredients. They have L-theanine in it, which is found in matcha. And this gives you sustainable energy without the crash that other types of caffeine like coffee might give you. And among a bunch of other things, they also have lion's mane, which is really good for clarity and focus. So like I said, these are just little two ounce shots that help you focus and get stuff done, which I really want to do today in my product of day. <laughs> you can take these in a couple different ways. You can make a matcha latte with them. Personally, I like to keep mine in the fridge and have them as a really nice cold shot. And I love the sort of matcha tropical flavor they have. It is so nice. I also love that Magic Mind has a 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't like the product, you can get a 100% refund, no questions asked. So I have a link for you guys in my description. Go check it out. You can use my code ElsaM20 for money off and try out these Magic Mind shots to have a really productive day. So we're now just up in my office. I've got a cat on my lap. Ignore the tail. <laughs> I'm going to go over what I want to do today and just plan out my day. Having a to-do list, having a plan, that has made me so much more productive. And there is so much psychology around why to-do lists are so good, that little hit of dopamine of checking something off. I also find it helps me feel really less overwhelmed because I have everything written down and I feel like I can get any thoughts out of my head and onto the paper. So it really helps you achieve what you want to do through the dopamine and through the psychology of checking stuff off. But it also helps me be less stressed. And something I also have been trying to implement, I don't think I'm going to have to do it today because today isn't too busy. It's productive but not crazy busy is time blocking and estimating the time a task will take trying to estimate how long tasks are gonna take has really helped with being more productive because i can actually plan out my day by seeing how much i can fit into a day i used to have this really big problem where i just have this massive rolling to-do list i would never finish everything on there and then we'll just move over to the next day that was just so overwhelming and i didn't like it so actually trying to plan out what i can fit in a day and also like i said having like thematic days so today i know i want to do a lot of planning for the next month i think that has really helped me with my productivity. So let me get my bullet journal. And if I open it up to my daily log, wait, I'll also show you. This is my March cover page. How cute is it? I'm obsessed. I did this yesterday and I'm going to finish off my March setup today as well. But if I open up to my to-do list, I have to finish my March setup. I want to start a book I'm reading for a video. I need to start Girl Abroad by Elle Kennedy, which I'm reading for my Boyfriend Picks My Books video. It is the last book I have to read. I'm filming this vlog. I need to plan a bunch of things. And then also some things that help with productivity is is meal planning. I love not having that decision paralysis in the kitchen. So for lunch, I'm having an avocado toast with scrambled eggs. And then for dinner, I think we're doing a bit of a breakfast for dinner situation. So you can see this is my February setup. I have my meal plans all down the bottom and I like to plan out my meals at the beginning of every week. And I also have a grocery pass. We get free deliveries throughout the week. So that is really good. And I find not only does that help save money, that helps me be more productive and organized just in my weeks in general. I'm going to get started on, I think my emails and just figuring out if I have anything else on my to-do list today, which I will know by checking my emails. And yeah, we're gonna get that done. Mm -hmm. 
but it is stormy out there today. It is so windy and we've had such weird weather. It's like very unusually warm for this time of year, but it is making me feel very spring kind of vibes. Um, I've had lunch. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon. So some time has passed. I wanted to talk about some stuff I've got done today. I did some planning earlier. I got some emails done, set up some of my bullet journal. I also had a phone call with some family working on this group thing I've been setting up that I told you guys about earlier. The app I'm using is called Geneva and they have like a page on like a guide on starting a group. So I'm just gonna read through that. And then I think I'm gonna go on Canva and make like the logo. I also wanna fit in some writing today, but in terms of planning, tomorrow, like I said, is a really big cleaning day for me, which I'm not filming, but it's just like what's on my agenda tomorrow. I randomly like quite badly broke a nail, hurt so bad, but I wanna get some rubber gloves for cleaning to protect my hands and my nails and whatever. So later, Jake and I are gonna pop out to the shops probably around four or 5 p.m. like after work. Let's get into it. And and do some research. Don't you say it, I can't hear it. I get defensive when I think you're calling me out. But I don't scream, I don't. Okay, so I just got dressed to go out. I'm just wearing this top from Uniqlo, my cardigan, and some white trackies. But before we go out, because we've just had this massive storm start and the lighting's being a bit weird, I'm just gonna film that TikTok I wanted to film earlier. So I thought I'd do some behind the scenes and film me filming the TikTok so you guys can see what I do, which is literally just talking to my camera. Okay, girls who live in Ottawa, I have made something for us. I wanna make it easier for people to connect and to find a community in Ottawa. Hopefully that was all right. <laughs> out to the supermarket, bought a bunch of stuff and Jake is making dinner downstairs and I'm so excited because I finally got that group fully ready to be published and I recorded my little TikTok for it as well. And I just edited that when I got home and I'm ready to press publish. Okay, I'm pressing post right now. I'm so happy I've made this, it's been so exciting. So I'm gonna get some of the work done. I think I'm gonna work on my March bullet journal setup and I've really enjoyed how productive this day has been. And also one thing I did do today, which obviously if you looked at episode two of the Dream Life series, it was all about sorting out my sleep schedule. I did wake up earlier today because like I said in that episode I did sort out my sleep schedule and that is one thing that has made it so much easier to be productive today because I just have more time in my day and I will show you my March bullet journal setup when I finish it as well. I've just put on a jumper because it's getting cold now that the sun's gone down and the storm is getting super intense. It's like some weird mix of snow, rain and hail going on outside. Yeah it's getting a little bit colder now that it's dark and it sounds very stormy outside. That is perfect weather for what I'm doing this evening. So I've just had lunch, I had some banana bread for dessert, it was really nice. Did I say lunch? I meant dinner. I think I said lunch. <laughs> and I want to do some writing, like I said, and also want to get some more bullet journaling done. So it's perfect time to just put on some YouTube videos and get creative. It's something I like to do when I'm being productive or kind of when I'm setting like a vibe, if that makes sense, is say I'm like cleaning. I'll watch some like productive home cleaning vlogs. Or if I'm writing or I'm about to write, I have a bunch of really, really cool writing YouTubers who I follow. I think that's what I'm going to do while I do some bullet journaling, I'm gonna put on some writing YouTube. So when I'm done bullet journaling, I am in the mood and I am inspired to get writing. to bed I just finished writing and wait I'm gonna move the camera off a bit we've got a cat up there so I have just finished writing I was writing for about an hour and a half and I got a lot done I finished the I'm using the save the cat structure so if I go to my notion page so next time I write I'm writing the dark night of the soul but I just wrote the all is lost moment but the main character had sort of come up with a plan after her plan had been foiled in the midpoint she had sort of recovered come up with a plan gone on a bit of a journey and now everything has gone wrong again 
Anyway, I'm up to like 83,000 words in this manuscript. It's insane, it's a bit long, really. I love this bit that's coming up next and I'm really excited when I finish this first draft because like I said, I am towards the end. I'm at that like ending all is lost kind of bit before the finale. I am excited to go back and do draft two because the bones of this story are really good, but I'm so excited to get back and like really dive into the characters. I really like flesh out this story and I think I am gonna continue this vlog, not tomorrow because tomorrow is a cleaning day and I'm gonna stick to that just to get a couple more productive things done. I didn't get everything done today. I wanna do some goal setting that I didn't entirely get done, but I did get my entire March set up done. I did get tons of writing done, like over 1600 words, like I said. I'm just really happy with what I've achieved today and I think it was a good amount of stuff without being too overwhelmed. And although I didn't get my entire to-do list done, I have been setting out my to-do list really nicely where they're not like overwhelmingly long. So if I don't get a couple things done, it's not like I didn't get a lot of the list done. I still got my important things done, working on eating the frog and prioritizing. Eating the frog is basically just doing tasks you don't want to do first. So that's like over and done with. And I think I definitely did do that in terms of like some emails and stuff today. And I'm excited to go to bed and read for a bit. Have a nice shower. The weather has been crazy today. I'm not sure if you can hear the wind in these clips. We've literally gone from 15 degrees in the middle of the day to negative 15 right now. And I just want to hop into bed and cozy up. Good morning guys. It is Friday now. I had a little day break from when I spoke to you last. You wanna say hi to the camera? So we're doing another productive day today, but today I've got this hockey game I'm going to tonight and I've got to get ready for that. Obviously I have to wash my hair. It's like a work thing, it's a collab, and I'm so excited. We had such a good time in our last hockey game, so that is gonna be so fun. It is the first qualifying of the F1 season, so obviously we're on the couch. Jake's here too, we both got our laptops, so we're like working while we're watching quali, so that is so fun. But in terms of things I have to do today, I have my bullet journal down here to do some planning. We're gonna do some goal stuff. We're gonna do some end of the month stuff because today is the first day of the month, so it's like the monthly changeover things. I just have some statistics. I like to put my bullet journal, etc, etc. We're going to do some goal planning. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. I'll keep you guys updated probably after qualifying and I'll tell you all the stuff I did and all the planning I've done. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I could break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at you. Hey guys, so as you saw, we were doing some bullet journal stuff. I record a bunch of statistics about like writing, my follow accounts, etc. I also, while we we're watching F1, edited some TikToks for today. And I got all my emails done. Got some exciting stuff happening, which is so good. And I think I've got myself prepped and ready for like the weekend. And I know what's coming up next week, which will be really nice. Otherwise, still gonna wash my hair. So it is about 3 p.m. I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna do my monthly planning stuff. Once that's done, I think I can end off this vlog. All right, before I head to the hockey tonight, and I am so excited for the game tonight. It is country night. Maybe wear a plaid shirt. I think it's gonna be really fun. So that is the plan for the rest of this vlog. I have made a lot of mistakes. I have been too self-involved. Been protective of my feelings, but somehow you made me fall. You got underneath the surface and you shattered every wall. Hi guys, so I just wanted to end off this vlog because I finished doing my March goals and working on fleshing out my 2024 goals. And I've just washed my hair, so ignore that I look a bit different by fleshing out my goals. First of all, what I mean is I have this list, this big database, which you can't see at all because it's on my phone. But if you look at my Notion tour that I did in, I think it was early February or January, I will link it up here. But I went all through my goals page and I also will link down below the Notion template, which helps me like map out my goals and flesh out my goals and make my goals more actionable and achievable and also make them more intentional. So I do have the goals that I wrote out at the beginning of the year but within them they have actions and they have sort of intentions and little journal prompts in each of those pages. This doesn't really make sense if you can't see it. I really recommend you go check out my Notion tour or the link down below. I was going into those goals and kind of fleshing them out and looking at the actions. But I did that before going to my March goals. It's been a slow start to the year in terms of like productivity and goal setting. Like at the end of last year I was setting like maybe like 17 or like 12 goals a month. It 
weren't all necessarily like big goals and what I don't have any sort of like seasonal goals because the season has just been a bit weird and I didn't want to put anything that was like out of my control because sometimes I'll have more goals in a month where it's like my birthday or it's the beginning of autumn or it's Christmas or whatever because there'll be things I want to make sure I put in to like romanticize my life and make the most of the time of year but at the minute who knows what the season's gonna be like I thought I'd definitely get some March skiing in but there's literally not a drop of snow outside and it was like 18 degrees yesterday I also don't know if it's gonna get really stormy and then I'm not gonna get to do the spring activities either so I have just a smaller set of goals to work on because honestly in January I had like no goals in February I had some goals but very small slash I didn't set them at the beginning of the month etc etc so here are my March goals Jake and I have a masterclass membership so I want to start a masterclass course I also don't have this on here but I'm tempted to write it down now in fact I might add it I want to finish draft one of my current manuscript and I know I've spoken about writing a little bit in this video I definitely maybe want to do a dedicated writing vlog yeah I kind of nervous to put that because I don't want to like rush myself but I am really close to the end and I think I can do it so I've just added that in I also have that I want to crochet three times I have this crochet project that I've had forever but I keep getting too busy or putting it off I also want to submit my taxes this month I want to submit my PR or visa application things are a bit up in the air with that at the minute as what it's going to be but we should be able to submit it this month. I also want to read five books this month. I tend to not set reading goals unless I'm like very behind or if it's more like reading non-fiction goals, whatever. For my reading goal this year, I'm already ahead, but I think I have to read five books a month for that reading goal, so I figured I'd just put that on there. Then for my habits, I want to do some kind of movement, particularly getting outside doing a walk per day. Also just any kind of movement. I also want to get out of bed before 9.30 a.m. I want to read non-fiction once a day and I want to write once a day. So that is my goals and habits March. I'm so glad I got that sorted. I'm feeling super productive, super happy, and super excited for this upcoming month. And also don't forget to check out Magic Mind, which I have linked in the description. Of course, I really like their shots and I think you guys will as well. Thank you for watching this vlog. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please do like and subscribe and make sure to stick around to see more of this trying to figure out my life, living my dream life series, and just more vloggy content. I want to do more vlogs with you guys. I'm also planning a Q&A for something coming up, hopefully soon. So if you do have any questions for me about literally anything leave them down below and yeah i hope to see you guys next time